a 73 years old woman collapse sudden onset abdominal pain she passes a large amount of the diarrhea on admission she is vomiting repeatedly she has recently been discharged from the hospital following a myocardial infarction but recovered well what is the most likely underlying cause so first of all a 73 years old man that means he is elderly is collapse and sudden onset of the abdominal pain so there is the abdominal pain and also the large amount of diarrhea so these two point we have to keep in mind very carefully that there is the abdominal pain and there is the large amount of the diarrhea and also the recent history of the myocardial infarction that means the there is compromisation of the heart and any compromisation of the heart usually causes the different type of the thrombus formation so what may be the options options are acute superior mesenteric artery embolus acute inferior mesenteric artery embolus pancreatitis infection with clostridium difficile and myocarditis first of all let's see the acute mesenteric embolus it is commonest about 50 percent and what is the clinical feature of the acute mesenteric embolus it is the abdominal pain followed by the diarrhea so when there is the abdominal pain and there is a huge amount of the diarrhea so in this condition we should go for the acute mesenteric artery embolus and may be associated with the vomiting so abdominal pain diarrhea and vomiting this when this three feature completed then it is the diagnosis is acute mesenteric embolus and here the rapid clinical deterioration occurs and the abdominal pain is so much severe that it usually not relieved by traditional painkiller and what are the serological tests white blood cell count lactate and amylase and this can be normal in early phases so sudden onset of the abdominal pain and forceful bowel evacuation are feature of the acute mesenteric infarct and the superior mesenteric artery is more likely to be involved than the inferior mesenteric artery so let's see the different branch of the superior mesenteric artery and their territory so here this is the superior mesenteric artery it arises from the abdominal aorta at the level of the lumbar one vertebral level which is below the celiac trunk and here the superior mesenteric artery it supplies the uh, a small intestine that means the jejunum and ileum also the cecum ascending colon and also the transverse colon so these large area are supplied by the superior mesenteric artery and when there is ischemia or embolus in this condition there is severe abdominal pain and also there is the bowel evacuation that means the diarrhea so what is our answer our answer is the superior mesenteric artery embolus why superior mesenteric artery embolus because there is sudden onset of the severe abdominal pain that passes of large amount of diarrhea and here the vomiting present so only two point is enough one of the sudden abdominal pain and the large amount of diarrhea but there is additional another feature present which is vomiting so it goes for the superior mesenteric artery embolus other option here such as the acute inferior mesenteric artery embolus it is usually rare pancreatitis in case of pancreatitis clinical feature is usually different and infection of the colostridium difficile there is a definitive broad spectrum antibiotic therapy history present and in case of myocarditis there is pain in the cyst not in the abdomen